as a pediatric developmental therapist, I am here to answer your questions. So today I am answering one mom's question on how to play with a three month old baby. If your child is between the ages of birth and 36 months old, and you have a question for me about your child's development, make sure you stick around to the end and I will let you know how you can ask me your question. So playing with a three month old baby can be a delightful and engaging experience. Now, while their abilities and attention span are still developing, there are various activities you can do to try and stimulate their senses and to promote their physical and cognitive development. So today I am giving you eight tips on how to play with your three month old baby. So tip number one, tummy time. Place your baby on their tummy and go in front of them at their eye level. Engage them with colorful toys, rattles, or textured objects within their reach. This activity helps develop their neck and upper body strength. Now the next one is singing and talking. Babies love the sound of their caregiver's voice. Sing songs, nursery rhymes, or simply talk to them. This interaction promotes bonding and language development. So number three is gentle massages. Using gentle strokes to massage your baby is a great tactile stimulation for them and can be very calming and promote relaxation. Plus, it's a great bonding experience for both you and your little one. The next one is baby gym. I want you to set up a baby play gym or a play mat with hanging objects. So anything that has interesting textures or colors, encourage your baby to reach for and bat at the toys. This activity helps develop their eye-hand coordination. Number five is mirror play. Show your baby their reflection in a baby safe mirror. Babies are often fascinated by their own image and enjoy observing themselves. This is also a great thing to do when your child is learning to crawl. Put the mirror a few feet in front of your little one and chances are they will try to scoot over to themselves. Just make sure that they can see themselves in the mirror so they can actually crawl over and interact with themselves. Number six is sensory play. Off your baby toys with different textures, um, such as a plush toy, crinkly objects, or toys with different materials. Let them explore these objects using their hands and mouth. Now, if you would like um, to know what some of my favorite toys are for babies, I will actually leave a link in the description below of my favorite toys as a pediatric developmental therapist and some of the things that I use in my own practice. Next is play peekaboo. Babies love peekaboo. Um, you can hide your face behind your hands or a blanket and then revealing yourself. This game helps develop object permanence and can elicit giggles from your little one. You can also pull the blanket over their face in a uh, like swiping motion and they just kick their legs and their arms and they just love it. And finally, we have musical toys. Introduce your baby to uh, musical toys that have gentle tunes and sounds to them. Um, this can help stimulate your baby's auditory senses and encourage exploration. Now, um, one thing that you can do if you notice that your baby is favoring turning their head to one side versus the other is that you can put the sound, the, the, the toy that has the sound um, on the side that they're not favoring. That way they can practice and start strengthening those muscles by looking um, that way at the object. Um, and whether or not they favor one side or the other, you can put the object um, with the sound on both sides of your baby so they can practice turning their head. I hope you enjoyed hearing about the eight different tips on how to play with your three month old baby. Now, if you have a child development question for me and your child is between the ages of birth and 36 months, I will leave a link to a quick and simple Google form for you to fill out in the description below. It is the easiest way for me to answer all of the questions that come in. And if you want to take it a step further and have access to me, a pediatric developmental therapist on a daily basis, then please consider joining the Milestone Mom Academy. There is also a link in the description below for you to sign up. Now, as always, I appreciate you and I will see you in the next video.